Um, I'm not allowed in different in mosques. I'm no longer um, the imam that used to lead prayers and so forth. So my mosque now is in my heart. It travels with me. I was abused, physically abused, for a period around five years. I was essentially people tried to beat the gay out of me. religious hierarchy and leadership, the power that they have is just unbelievable. With one word or one sentence, they can destroy a life or make a life. Um, I believe that other gay imams around this region are too frightened to come out. Because you're dealing with an outdated ideology that thinks that because of what you do in your bedroom, by me killing you, that's actually your repentance. Religion was definitely used as a justification for hurting me um, when I came out. That's why there was kind of no remorse on that end. I went through massive depression. Um, I tried to commit suicide multiple times. Um, it was just really, really negative. I had to drop out of school and I believe I was a standout star. Thankfully, it saved lives, um, it united families, it restored faith in a lot of um, youth that have rejected faith. People call from all around the world, is my son, is there something wrong with my son? I was telling this father in Egypt, I said, brother, you, you, you're the father of this child, you're calling a man all the way in Australia to say to you that yeah, there's nothing wrong with your son. But, you know, they, that, um, to say that there's nothing wrong in coming from a person like myself or um, other religious leaders, it gives people a sense of healing and comfort. Hearing Imam Noor speak up and say, you can be gay and be Muslim, makes me incredibly happy and satisfied. It's something I've always urged to hear and you know, I, I want to meet him. Um, I think he's incredible. It's me, it restores my faith in my religion. Someone said to me, you gave me hope. I mean, that some, that's something that um, is a huge weight on my shoulders when I hear that, and I hear that quite often. I think people are searching for that alternative, which they cannot find in um, the religious gerontocracy. I believe I have that calling, yes. I can't do anything else. I tried, I tried the call center, <laughs> I can't do anything else. <laughs> yeah.